I am Mr. Gant. Project Management. Lesson number three, calendar configuration. Objective, students will learn how to configure calendar in Asta Power Project. A calendar is made up of a scheduled pattern of work to which exceptions might be included. Setting the default calendar for the project. A period of working or non-working time that does not adhere to the scheduled pattern of work such as a holiday or a period of overtime is an exception. To examine the calendars that are accessible in a project, select working and non-working time in the project, click and then next to calendars. The available calendars are determined by the template you choose to build the project. Because you use the construction template to build the project, it has already a number of calendars. The five day week bank holidays in Christmas calendars icons all have red check next to them. This indicates that it is the default calendar for the project. Any task you add to the project will follow the work pattern of the default calendar. If a project contains several calendars, you can define which one is the default calendar by right clicking the calendar in the project view and choosing task default. Now try this. To begin, right-click on the six-day week bank holiday in Christmas calendar. When you pick the calendar settings, a dialog box displays. Second, you utilize this box to define where you want the selected calendar to be applied. Click OK. The six-day week bank holiday in Christmas calendar now has a red tick, indicating that it is the project's default calendar. Before proceeding, right-click the five-day week bank holiday in Christmas calendar and choose Task Default to restore it as the default calendar. The Calendar Settings dialog box is shown here. Click OK to close the Calendar Settings dialog. The red tick had returned to the five-day week bank holiday in Christmas schedule. Making changes to the default calendar. You should change the calendars in a project to ensure that they represent the project's particular working hours. Right-click the five-day week bank holiday in Christmas calendar to alter the default calendar. The calendar tab of the calendar properties dialog appears. If a day is colored red by default, it contains working hours according to the calendar's work pattern. If a day is colored white, it contains no working time. Days in pink have one or more exceptions that lower the working time for the day. Viewing the working and non-working hours of a day. Double-click the day to see the working and non-working times. The working hours dialog box appears. Close the dialog box and return to the calendar properties dialog by clicking close. To begin, pick the date or dates to which you wish to add an exception on the calendar tab of the calendar properties dialog as shown. To add an exception to a range of consecutive dates, click the first date in the range, then click the last date while holding down the shift key. To provide an exception for a number of non-contiguous dates, hold down Control and select each date one at a time. Hold down Shift while choosing a range of three consecutive dates such as a Wednesday, Thursday and Friday in May. 
Choose Assign Exception. The Add Exception dialog box appears. Choose Holiday for the field of the exception type. In the Exception Period group, indicate the duration of the exception. You can input exact start and end timings. Specify that the exception applies to the entire morning or afternoon. Or specify that the exception applies to the full day. Click Add. The exception is shown on the calendar where you must click away from the specified day or dates to see this. A morning holiday has been added to the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of May, resulting in dates appearing in pink.